Hey guys, it is Thursday, October 1st. It's 5.57 p.m. and the temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. I'm currently walking east on Bloor Street West. And that was the Royal Ontario Museum across the street where I started this walk. And I had just finished recording a walk along Harbord Street and I had headed into the subway station and found that the subway station was currently closed due to an incident at track level. I was thinking about firing up a live stream or recording another video, but it does seem like it's going to rain at some point, so I think I'll just go home and edit and upload the video that I just filmed. So this walk is just me walking from Avenue Road and Bloor Street over to Bloor Young Station. So it's gonna be a relatively short walk. I think I'll just upload this to my second channel, Johnny Stumbles, which you of course would know that since this is where you're watching it. And this neighborhood I'm walking through is Yorkville. With its new separated bike lanes. There's a lot of high-end retailers in this area. And just to the north of here is sort of the, the village part of Yorkville where there's a lot of smaller boutiques and shops and restaurants and bars and no doubt a lot of supercars hanging out. I've certainly explored that area in previous videos and I'm sure I'll do it again. So if you're interested in watching the video I just recorded before this, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Alright, so this is Bay Street up ahead. I also did a midnight walk down Bay Street last week. Seems as if all the people asking for donations have reappeared in downtown. Not that they're not doing good or meaningful work, but they are getting paid for it. It's actually far more effective to just go to the charity you wish to donate directly online and contribute that way. That way you're not subsidizing people that stand on the street. Which is a bit counterintuitive, I guess. Maybe it's a good thing though. They are paying jobs. It's contributing to the economy. It just seems a bit silly to me. And you could donate directly to an organization.
Okay, I'm gonna take a little detour here. I'm gonna come south down Balmudo. I wanna see how this restaurant is doing. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the city. It's the Okonomiyaki House. They have kind of a really unique Japanese dish and they make it particularly well and it's not that expensive. I actually paid a lot more to have it in Osaka. I'm just curious if they're open for dine-in service and then I'll head over to Young Street and then I'll pop up into Guryang Station. And I'll head through the exit or the entrance, well, it's also an exit, where Chick-fil-A is located, as that's not an entrance. I enter that station too much on this channel or my other channel. I was planning on doing a video at some point that featured my favorite restaurants in the city. And this will definitely be at or near the top of the list. Last few times I walked this way, it wasn't open. They have some seats set up outside. Or open, takeout only, there you go. That'd be kind of neat if they were open for dine and service, but very understandable. All right, so this is Young Street. I'm just gonna cross over to the other side and pop up into the subway, and I'll call it a video. Look up at One Blur East, where the subway station is. That's ironic, illegally entering an intersection and honking at someone to get out of your way. You're both wrong. And this would be another restaurant on my list, Ginger. There was someone in front of the now closed Brass Rail Strip Club using an Osmo Mobile 3, which is the same gimbal I use for my live streams. So that's kind of cool. There's Chick-fil-A, always busy and lined up. Oh, and it looks like one Blur West is finally rising above the surface level. And here we are at the subway station.
So let's pop in and head north. Starbucks is not open. Well, that guy had some big hair. The train should be here in a minute. Still nowhere near as busy as it would normally be at this hour. into the train. I hope you enjoyed this short walk from just in front of the Royal Ontario Museum to Luryang Station. Thanks for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed feel free to go ahead and do so. I'll catch you on the next one. Please stand clear of the doors. Please stand clear of the doors.